Hi, I'm Christopher Bruton with the Caltech Seismo Lab. In this video, I'm going to upgrade the firmware and operating system software on a Quantera Quantix Q8 seismic data acquisition system. In my previous video, I covered how to power up a Q8 and set the IP address to access over the network. The Q8 I'm working on today is already set up, so let's open our web browser and get started. So we'll go to the Q8's IP address, which I've set to this, 10.1.1.191. Um, this is the status page. We're already familiar with this. We click on status, and remember the default password, default username is admin, default password is just KMI, and then the six digit tag number, which here is 510694. So here we are on the status page. We can see the current versions of the firmware and the software um, in this OS status output here. So this firmware we're currently running is the, this is the date 2020, 11, 16, so it's November of 2020. And then we're on the software version 1.5. So we're going to upgrade to the latest version because now we have 1.6 and, and a newer firmware version as well. Um, the firmware and software upgrade actually happens in the network tab. So we'll click on network and we scroll down kind of middle of the page. There's the software update section. So we're going to click choose file and browse to our firmware software. Um, so let's go into, here we go, 1.6. So I downloaded these before. Let's start with the firmware. I'm not sure whether you should upgrade the OS or the firmware first, but um, let's, I think I've, I've tried it both ways. They both seem to work. So we'll, we'll just do firmware first. So choose for upload, then click upload to Q8. Sometimes it, there we go. Click OK, and here, so now the page reloads and at the top now it says updates pending FW for firmware. So we just click reboot OS. And there we go. So this will take a few minutes. Um, we can kind of watch the, the lights on the Q8 itself to get some clue of, of where it is in the, in the process. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting, let me show you where to download the, uh, the new firmware. So the easiest way to find it is we go to www.contix.com. This is the official Q8 homepage, and then we click Downloads. This takes you to the KMI wiki page. You actually need a username and password to get into this. And if you're a Kinemetrics customer, you can, you can get this from, from Kinemetrics. I, I can't um, tell you what that is in this, in this video, but, um, but they'll give it to you. And this page has all the, all the software for the, for the Q8. The Windows support software, I, I don't use that. Um, but the second section is what we want, the, um, the latest firmware. And they, I guess they, they show the, the last two versions, but we only need the, the latest version, the 1.6. So I already downloaded that, but um, you would just click download and, um, and download it. It's a zip file. You just unzip it, and it has the, the two, um, two files in it. So this should almost be done. Um, I'm looking at the lights now, and that blue USB ready light has come back on. So I think that means we can we can refresh this page, and here we go. So Q8 is loading again, and click status, and here we go. So we have the new firmware version. This is a 2021-01-28, so January of, of 2021, and that's currently the latest firmware version. We're still on 1.5, so we basically just do the same thing again. Um, we go to network page, scroll down to software update. This time we choose the, the 1.6 OS update package. Uh, notice this is a lot bigger. This one's 69 megabytes. The, the firmware was just 2.8 megabytes. Um, but 
this is on the local network, so it'll upload pretty fast, um, even though it's a larger file. Just wait. Waiting. There we go. So now it says updates pending OS. So again, we just reboot. Click OK to confirm. Now we wait for this to reboot. So you can watch the, the lights again. Um, I think the, the OS update takes a little longer than the, the firmware update took. In the meantime, uh, let's look at this, this page again just for, for fun. So Q8 documents, um, this is where we can download the user's guide, which I talked about in my, in my previous video. It's that long 200 plus page document, which has a lot of useful information, um, but you probably don't need to read the whole thing in, in one sittings. Uh, we have cable drawings. I haven't looked at those yet. Um, and then, um, yeah, actually, I haven't looked at all of these documents yet, mainly the user's guide. Um, the Q8 communications library, this is the lib660 software. Um, if you're programming something new to talk to the Q8 to acquire data or to acquire status, then, um, then this can be helpful. There's, there's both software code, uh, C code that, that will, um, that has the protocol already figured out, but there's also some documents on the on the network protocols. If, if you want to write your own software from scratch and, and something other than C, then then you can use those those documents. Um, I've written a, a tool called Q8 ping, which um, which talks to the, the status monitor um, server that we, we showed you how to set that up in my, my last video. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at the lights. It still doesn't show the blue USB um, busy light. Oh, it's USB busy. It's not USB ready, but either way. Um, well, let's just give this a try. Maybe it'll work. No, not yet. So um, I'm just going to wait another minute or two. Ah, there we go. So the, yeah, USB busy is blue again. Um, looks like this didn't fully load. Here we go. Let's go to status and okay. So we're on KMI Q8 update 1.6, which is the, uh, the software we just installed. Uh, one last thing, if we go to digitizer page, um, we can see some version numbers in a different format. I don't know exactly how these correspond to the the 1.6 or the firmware date, but um, but they do somehow, and um, and you can you can tell what tell something about what software is running based on these these version numbers. Um, so that's it for today. A bit shorter video than last time, um, but uh, that's all I wanted to talk about. Enjoy your Q8s. Practice. Uh, updating the firmware and software and um, leave a comment if you have any any questions or or you like the video thanks